Trini Connection TV, the people's choice for hot topics. I would like to take a stand and thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash the subscribe button for further info and updates. As you can see, we're going to be talking about cops kill wanted man in La Hakata. So ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this, I will advise you right now, hit the subscribe button and be a part of the team, Trinity Connection TV. So ladies and gentlemen, this actually happened in La Hokita. A wanted man by the name of Don Jacob was seen in La Hokita hanging out with a pistol on his waist. Cops got information that the wanted man was armed in La Hokita. So the cops decided to do an exercise on arresting this guy. Upon trying to arrest this guy, when they pull up on him and try to arrest him, he ran, jumped over a wall, and went into a building six in La Hokita, into somebody's apartment or house. Upon trying to tell him come out with his hands up, the cops are claiming that he, he came out and tried to run to a washroom. They, they surround the washroom and they tell him, come out. He When he came out, he aimed a gun towards the officers and the officers fired protect themselves the old scenario that always happened the criminals the police had them ask them to come out and they know they're going to jail they don't want to go to jail they decide you know what they're gonna fight fire with fire and they always lose when it comes to going against the police with weapons because you have to understand these police are trained to guess what deal with situations like that and plus these police are marks, man. So you may pick up a little gun and think you're bad and this. But how many practice do you get with these guns? Most of the time, if you shoot somebody, you walk up on them, sneak up on them, and they do your thing. But you have to understand, these police are trained and licensed to fire. Professional marksmen. So you're giving away your life completely aiming a gun at the police. And guess what? is also stated that this is the 43rd police shooting dealing with criminals in the country for the year this is the 43rd time police has killed a criminal that point a gun in Trinidad and Tobago which means it makes no sense aiming a gun at them this youth probably was in his 20s and guess what just give away his life for what reason we don't know we don't know if becoming a wanted man is the thing now you get plenty girl he's the baddest man out you feel he's the baddest man out but for the youth such an Antibago you need to understand the same way you feel when you pick up a gun that you're the baddest man out and nobody can disrespect you nobody can tell you nothing is the same way hundreds of youths in the country think. So when you are your gun, the next man are your gun, and he's saying the same thing you say. And when all they run into each other, it's all about who draw first and who survive. And guess what? Even if the one survive, sooner or later, another person you go run into and they might get the upper hand and take his life, or he may run into the same similar situation here with the police and guess what lose your life end up in a body bag is it worth it you such an in Tobago you such an in Tobago need to understand this life of crime is a one way road when you get into the life of crime either you go dead or be in jail and majority of the time the youths are left laying on the concrete, the hot concrete, laying there to be bagged up and carried to the mortuary. And it's sad to see 
that this is the road young youth of Trinidad and Tobago is choosing. And youths also know this. When you pick up this lifestyle, you do harm to your family and your loved ones. If you have a, your mother, your mother got to mourn. Father got to mourn. Brother and sister got to mourn. Auntie and uncle. And also the loved one, your girlfriend and your children have to feel the pain of your decision. When you go on and, and your child mother has to fend for herself to take care of the child that you leave here. And your child has to grow up without a father to direct them down the right road and they end up following the same road you take and end it, ending up the same place you are. It's sad to see. So for this young youth that lost his life, people are trying to be good, youth are trying to be good. Use this as an example to change your life now before you get into this lifestyle. Like one of my followers commented and said, this life of bad, badness is played out. It's not to glorify anymore. It's a waste of time. Because guess what? True people who began getting rich off of this is the people behind the curtain that supplying all you with the negativity and also the guns and ammunition to go and waste all your life to secure their riches. You on the street wasting your life to secure another man's riches. And that man is the man who's going to live longer and spend all the time with the family at home and collect the money that you protect him. So youths, why isn't a picture in the to and change all their life? This is not the way you want to go. Laid out in the street from the police or from another criminal element. Let's wisen up. For the youth in children and to be good that is doing the right thing, going to school, focusing on building their life and being successful. Thumbs up to all you. Much love to all you. Because all you are trying to keep the country in a good road on the good road and the youth that is going on the bad road guess what the only thing all they're doing is bringing destruction to the country and yourself this youth look at the picture this youth look like he in the early 20s a youth in the early 20s supposed to be now starting to think about the thanks for tuning in with Trini Connection TV. Like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button for further info and updates.